We're now in chapter 10, which is all about data. This is 10.1, Collect Data, Tally Charts. Data is information, that is numbers, words, or both. A tally mark is a small mark that is used to represent a number or a quantity, that's an amount. And a tally chart is a table that uses tally marks to record data. We count tally marks in groups of fives. After we count four, we make a diagonal that's a slanted line for the fifth mark. So here we have five, 10, 11, 12 tally marks. As we count them and write our tally marks, we would do one, two, three, four, five, and then we can skip count by fives and then add the ones that are left over. We can record our data on a tally chart. Here's a tally chart of birds that we're seeing and the type, and here's the tally marks, and the types are sparrow, robin, and cardinal. And we can quickly see the data, the information. We can see whoever made this tally chart saw more sparrows than robins. And they saw more robins than cardinals. Cardinals were seen the fewest times. We can count how many sparrows they saw. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sparrows. 5, 6, 7 robins and 3 cardinals. There's one tally mark for each bird that they saw. A survey is a collection of data from answers to a question. We can use a tally chart to record data from a survey by putting a tally mark in the chart for each response. That's an answer. For each response, we put one tally. A teacher asked her students if they would rather have chocolate or vanilla ice cream. Now the data is put into a tally chart. We can see the tallies for chocolate and vanilla. So which flavor was chosen the most, chocolate or vanilla? We can look at the tally marks and see there are more chocolate tally marks than vanilla. So the flavor that was chosen most was chocolate. How many more chose chocolate? Well, chocolate has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. Vanilla has 5, 6, 7. We can subtract 13 minus 7 to find the difference. 13 minus 7 is 6. That means 6 more chose chocolate. How many students answered the question? We can count the chocolate and the vanilla, and we will know how many in all. We have 13 plus 7. 13 plus 7 is 20. We know 20 students answered the question. We can even count the tally marks as 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We just count all the tally marks and we know how many answered the question. To find how many more chose chocolate, we needed to use subtraction. To find how many students answered the question, we needed to use addition. If there are 24 students in the classroom, how many did not answer? And we think we need to find the difference between the number of all the students, 24, and the number that answered. The difference means we subtract. We're going to do 24, that's how many in all are in the classroom, and 20 answered the question. 24 minus 20, that means four students did not answer. Sarah made a tally chart of the bracelets she sold. She put one tally mark for each bracelet sold. So let's take a look at our tally chart here. We can see the title is Bracelets Sold. The colors of the bracelets are red, blue, green. 
And here's her tally marks of how many she sold. It's telling us to write a question about the data in the chart, then write the answer to the question. Can you think of a question for the data in this tally chart? How about how many more blue did she sell than red? Or we could say, how many more red did she sell than green? We could say, which one did she sell the most? Which one did she sell the least? We can think of a lot of questions. Let's do how many more blue than red. We write a nice question, how many more blue bracelets were sold than red bracelets? Now we need to answer it. We see there are five, six, seven, eight blue and five red. We can see there's three tally marks here more than the red. They both have a five, but the blue one has three tally marks here and this one doesn't. We know there were three more blue. We've written a question and we've answered it. We've done what it asked. This one says to fill in the bubble next to the sentences that describe the data in the tally chart. So let's look at the tally chart first. It says students' pets. Type cat, dog, fish, and here's the tally marks. And the first one says more students have a dog. Does that describe the data in this tally chart? Do more students have a dog? If you said yes, you're correct. We can see there are more tally marks for dog than for cat or fish. So we can fill this in. This one says fewer students have a cat than students who have fish. When we look at cat, we see eight tally marks. We see fish has two. It says fewer students have a cat than fish. No, that's not true. There's fewer fish, not fewer cats. This one says a total of 22 students answered the survey. We can find out by counting all of the tally marks. These are all of the answers. We have five, we can count the fives first, five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There's 22 tally marks. So yes, a total of 22 students answered the survey. This one says, Mrs. Kim made a list of each muffin sold. Put the data from her list into a tally chart. So here's the list of the muffins she sold. We can see there's lemon, poppy, blueberry, and cinnamon, and then they repeat themselves. So we need to take this list and put tally marks into the chart for the muffins sold. We can see the title is muffins sold. We have the column for the types of muffins and a column for the tally marks. So we have lemon poppy on the top. Let's cross that off and make a tally mark. We cross it like this so we know we counted it. That's one. We have a blueberry, so we're going to put a tally mark by blueberry. We have a cinnamon, we're going to put a tally mark by cinnamon. We have another cinnamon, we put another tally mark. We have another blueberry, put another tally mark. We have another cinnamon, put another tally mark. We have another lemon poppy, so that one gets another tally mark. We have another cinnamon. We have another blueberry. We have another blueberry. And we have another cinnamon. Now, because we have four here, we cross it for the fifth. So which type of muffin sold the fewest? It's very easy to see that now. It's easier to see it in the tally table than it is in the list. We can see she only sold two lemon poppies. Which type of muffin sold the fewest? Lemon poppy. A tally chart is a useful way to organize and show data. We can quickly see and compare the data. And remember, when you're making your tally marks and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Every time you get to a five, we cross it with a diagonal line. Then we can count them by skip counting fives. Five, ten. In our next lesson, 10.2, we're going to read picture graphs. Those are kind of cool looking. I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you'll join me for that lesson. Bye.